we just want to give him glory and honor and praise, knowing that, oh, glory to God, he is our provider, he's our keeper, he's our life. Hallelujah. No one like him. He is the only one. Glory to his holy name. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Amen. He is here. Holy, holy. I will bless his name again. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. He is here this morning. Glory to his name. He is here this morning. Glory to his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's here this morning, we, we know that if we call upon him, he will answer us. And this morning, as we, we have come into his presence to give him praise, we, come, we are in his temple to give, give him honor and to lift up his holy name this morning hallelujah praise god father we glorify you we exalt you this morning great god we lift up your mighty name because there's none like you this morning we recognize that you are the only true god we recognize that you are our life you are everything god almighty and we worship your holy name glory to god this morning, Lord God, as we have come together, God, we pray this morning, Almighty God, that your holy presence, Almighty God, will be with us. That, Almighty God, your Holy Spirit, Lord God, will take charge of, of this service today, Lord. And as we worship you, as we give you praise, as we give you glory and honor, great God, hallelujah, that your people, Lord God, will rejoice and say it was good to be here. We bless your name, great God. We bless your name. And we lift you on high this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We ask great God, even at this hour, that God, we, we will consecrate everyone that are in this building this morning. God, in your temple, I pray, God, that you will touch every soul, almighty God. Touch every instrument, God. Everything that make up this service, Almighty God. I pray this morning that your holy hands will touch them, Almighty God. And I pray, God, for a night and upon every bench, every chair, every space that we will be walking on this morning, God. Every word that will be spoken this morning, God. Oh, God, we pray, God, that every song that will be sung this morning will bring blessing to your people. We pray, God Almighty, that every move this morning, Almighty God, will be of you because we come on business for you this morning. So, God, we ask that we'll consecrate this place. We ask, God Almighty, that your Holy Spirit, Lord God, will, oh God, just touch down in this place, God. And that as your people enter, Almighty God, they will feel a difference, God. They will see the difference, God. They will know that your Shekinah glory is in this place, Almighty God. Oh God, this morning we need a touch. We need a miracle, God. Oh God, we need need almighty god to see you this morning god we just want to feast around your table this morning great god oh god almighty we don't want to be far off from you god we want to draw close to you this morning almighty god so we ask that your holy spirit will consecrate us will clean us almighty god will renew our spirit this morning lord that when we come before you lord god we will be faultless almighty god forgive us of all of our sin this morning and make us clean god because god we ask it all in the precious name of jesus amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. we 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We worship you, God. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just continue to give the Lord some praise in this place. We give you all the glory, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. We magnify and exalt your name. You are that I am that I am. You are Jaira. You are Rafa. You are our rock. You are our shield. You are our strong tower. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. We magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Father, you are awesome in this place. We give you honor, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah. You are worthy of it all, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we praise you today, God, and we give you glory. We give you honor, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are holy. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are holy, mighty God. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We worship you, God. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory. worship you. We honor your name, Jesus. We give you all the glory, Father. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Father, we worship you. you we worship you, God. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. We thank you, God. That you are the Lord and that your name be glorified. Hallelujah. We bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship. Yahweh, we bow down, we bow down. Yahweh, we worship. 
the God who was in this and is to come. Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. It's in you I trust my life Jesus, you deserve our praises, God. Come say, God, we worship you. I am, I am, we exalt you. 
Aleluya, 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 You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are a healer, Lord. You are. You are a We worship your mighty God. We give you glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hey, you are worthy to be praised, Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. We worship and adore you, Father. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Ah, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Mighty God, hallelujah. Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy, God. You are Yahweh, hallelujah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is Hallelujah, we worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you that Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jehovah is your way. Oh, Jehovah is your name. Come and tell me the name.
We worship you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. We worship you, God. Almighty. We worship you, Jesus. I am the Lord. We worship you. I am the Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, you are worthy. Hallelujah, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou art worthy, O God. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the sun. Thou art worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You were worthy yesterday and you are worthy today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are still in the mood. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We are still in the mood of worship. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Pastor Finland. Pastor Quinland will come to us now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I believe God is pleased right now. Glory be to God. Of course, there's room to praise Him some more. Hallelujah. But I give God thanks. Glory be to God. I give God thanks that we are in his house and we are able to worship him. Glory be to God. I understand protocol. Glory be to God. But I'm going to take one minute. Glory be to God. And give God another praise, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord was on my side where would I be glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah I'm telling you if you don't know God for yourself if you don't know God for yourself if you don't know God for yourself in this season I want to introduce you to him I want you to acquaint, glory be to God, yourself with the living God. Because he's an on-time God. He is a gracious and a glorious God. And when you serve him, you reap the fruit of your labor. Those two last songs, Yahweh, Shekabalabasandadaba, Jehovah is his name. Let me tell you, when you're serving God, serve him in spirit and in truth. When you are serving God, do it the right way. There's no other way. It's a divine connection in the spirit. You know, I had all the delays. And when I was leaving, I said, the Lord cover me. And when I got right down there on South Dixie, right? And um, I'm heading up. And there was, I think it's a white Benz like they use for um, Amazon. Right in my track. It's like I didn't have enough time to go right or left. And there was somebody behind me. And I had to seriously concentrate to navigate out of uh, that situation. And as I was worshiping, I said, God, every time Satan tries something, you mash it up. He never stopped trying. But God is always working. And so when I come in the house, when I praise him, when I worship him, when I glorify him, when I sing unto him, I know what I'm singing about. Because he's Yahweh. Every time the enemy tries something, he mash it up. So this morning we give him glory. We give him praise. I just want to remind you one more time. Know who you serve and serve who you know. A lot is happening, Sister Cassie. There's an eclipse tomorrow. Earlier in the week there was a New York and New Jersey earthquake. There were over 25 aftershocks. 
after the earthquake. Right now, Iran is threatening the U.S. And we're still not awake. I say to somebody today, I beg you, wake me, Lord. I beg you, shake me, Lord. Don't let me sleep too late. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I think the welcome was waiting. Glory be to God for those who are entering the house right now. But we want to give glory to and honor to God. Hallelujah. This is life changing faith and fellowship ministries. We are right here in the heart of sunny Florida. Pompano Beach. Glory be to God. 191 Southwest 6th Street. Pompano Beach, Florida. 33060. This is where you can come and have fellowship. This is where you can come and worship. This is where you can come and acquaint yourself with the master, with the word. Glory be to God. And I want to tell you something. Hallelujah. That he has great plans for you. All you need to do is to show up. Hallelujah. So I greet the Holy Spirit, the head of my life. I greet the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I greet the under shepherd, the reverence senior pastor Leo Hall, and the wind beneath his wings, Pastor Annette Hall. Glory be to God. And he has branches. We have a musician, music master Joseph, and soundboard specialist Levon. And we greet them in the mighty name of Jesus. And while we greet them, we surround them with fire in the name of Jesus. We do decree and declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the family of God. Because they, have, they are on assignment. They are on assignment. They are on assignment. Glory be to God. And so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. I give an honor to Pastor Green moderating um, this morning. I see Minister Bailey in the house. Welcome back. Glory be to God. Uh, she was in Jamaica at the funeral and our prayers are still with you. Mr. Candice, my baby, Chloe too. You think you're too big to be my baby, Chloe. Hallelujah. But everybody that is one year younger than me is still my baby. Glory be to God. So I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I greet the Fong's family. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They look so beautiful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And one more later, they'll fill the house. We give God glory. Hallelujah. I see our praise, our warrior over there, Sister Cassie. I give honor to you. Glory be to God. You're on assignment. Tear down every stronghold. Glory be to God that even look on this side of town. We give God praise. Hallelujah. Uh, everybody in your rightful place. I want to acknowledge you. And I want to honor you. Glory be to God. We have a drummer. Oh, glory be to God. We give God thanks. Hallelujah. I want to turn to our virtual audience. You are the icing on our cake. And we appreciate you. We are so glad to have you tuning in. Week after week. Glory be to God. And so we thank you that you have chosen to be a part of us. Uh, we also have our platform. You need to go to the website and explore your opportunities. Glory be to God for Bible study, for giving and everything. But we want you to be a close part of us. So we want you to follow. Glory be to God. Like. Hallelujah. Evil love 
and more so join us in the house take, may take a special time out from work from wherever you are vacation whatever you have to do to join us in the house because everybody is welcome at lcfm min where the ground is level at the foot of the cross god bless you praise god Bless God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. It is a privilege to be back um, in the house of the Lord. Bless God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So much to be thankful for. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. At this time, we're going to be giving unto God. Um, from what he has given unto us. It is time for the tithe and offering. Bless the name of the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Let us bless the name of the Lord this morning. Give him glory. Give him all the honor. Let us give the Lord a praise this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As your Rev has a song here that he wanted us to sing while we give unto the Lord. If while we give, we could just stand the house of the Lord you know when Israel brought their offering unto God they would stand as the priests made an oblation unto the Lord on their behalf amen hallelujah what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve Angels bow before him and they say, Kadosh, 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 holy is the man, Jesus, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve! Oh, what a mighty God we serve! Oh, angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! Angels bow before him, and that What a mighty God we What a mighty God we What a mighty God we Heaven and earth that 
God that I know in all his might just freed a young man of charges that have been following him for a very long time he was going about his business not even knowing that there was a warrant out for his arrest and they took him and shipped him all the way to St. Petersburg they put him in prison but we stood in the church and we prayed on his behalf. We labored, O Koshet, and And this week, by the power of the Holy Ghost, all charges have been dropped. He has a clean record. I said, What a mighty God! What a mighty God! What a mighty God! We serve! So not even the offering, we're going to give ordinary today. We're going to do an extraordinary kind of giving. And by the spirit of the living God this morning, I say don't just give what you feel like giving. This morning let it be a sacrificial offering. We're going to give a little bit more. Paul went to the church and he said, the people at Jerusalem are poor. They're in need of a little bit more. So give a little bit extra this week. We're going back to Jerusalem by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to take care of the people of God. God is mighty and he is worthy of all the praise and the honor that he receives. So I'm just asking the church this morning. I didn't plan any of this. I was supposed to be here for 11. Circumstances beyond our control. We showed up at this time because it's the right time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the right time. I want us all this morning to give sacrificially. Sacrificially. I know you're supposed to give a tenth. And you want to give a free will offering. But this morning, let it be that we give a sacrificial offering as well. So the Lord is here. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And we gotta stop this electronically. I'm old school. So when it's time to bless the time of the offering, we must see go 
Shetu Nanaba second Delebehe Rekoto Shatu Yasha Emma Sutu Nanaba second Emma Sutu Nanaba second Emma Sutu I'm standing here. I will go and do as the Lord is instructing me to do because I know what it is to be on the short end of God's stick. Thank you, woman of God. I need us this morning to put physically, tangibly, money into the basket. It is all well and good that we have zeal and cash up and all that stuff. Israel never brought their offering to God spiritually. They brought it physically as well. And I'm being instructed by the Lord to pray a special prayer this morning for finances. I don't know why God is doing this because I, like I said, I didn't plan any of this. I was supposed to just come up here and say, bring the tithes and the offering and that's it. But under the unction of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to ask you all to come and put a sacrificial seed. If you have to write it on a piece of paper, put a dollar figure on the paper, write your name on it and come and put it in the basket, please. Hey, Jesus. Oh. Hey. figure on a piece of paper and bring it to the altar. Write a dollar figure, sign your name on it. Everyone in the church, and that's if you're led by the Spirit, because I don't pump or force people to do nothing. I'm just going to follow the instructions of God. Put a dollar figure. Joseph, I'll get you a piece of paper. When we say we're trusting God for increase and sometimes we don't even know we need the increase until something happens but see I know a God oh bless the name of the Lord that showed up for me at a time when I didn't even know what I needed because I didn't know that I was gonna be almost homeless and would need somewhere to go and would need fourteen hundred and fifty dollars to go into a new place and I was lying down in my car in the front seat with my baby on my chest and 
I remember I got a call from legal aid of Palm Beach Court who said someone referred your name to us and we understand that you have a plight. How much is it that you need? Keto Shataya. So when they asked the question, I asked the Lord, Lord, that I was waiting on to get the place. Can you please send an email and tell them that I need first and security so it covers me even halfway into the next month because I just got a new job and I had no money in the bank. And she sent the letter and when they received it, I was covered for a month and a half and I could move in into a new place. You all got to understand. I serve a mighty, mighty, mighty good God. And I don't have to have all the answers. I don't see my tomorrow, but he does. And when he tells me to prophetically put a seed into the ground, I know that he's up to something and I don't have to understand it. I just need to obey the command. So this morning by the spirit of the living God, I want y'all to stretch your hands toward the basket, believing God for the seed that you planted. Because I promise you today, I swear that I'm swear that the trust of prayer in this block. I'm sure of my God that he's about to swiftly show up on your behalf financially. Please love God. Stand with me. Stand with me. Point your hands toward the offering. Oh, bless the Lord. See, Father, we didn't give with an expectation of a return. But prophetically, you said, sow a seed. And so sacrificially, they have sown their seeds. We lift it up before you, O oh Lord, God Almighty, understanding that the soil is good. And we ask, O oh Lord, God Almighty, for a blessing that comes like latter rain. Let it pour upon what your people have given. Lord God Almighty, cause the soil. Hey God, to receive the seed, to nurture it, cause it, oh Lord, to spring up and be a fruit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our Lord, we are trusting you to open up some doors. We trust in you, O oh Lord. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For the ministry seeks to have its own building. The ministry seeks to have a building on land that belongs to the ministry. So, Lord God Almighty, prophetically over this seed, Keto Shatai, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that the land will be found and the building shall be erected. Lord, it doesn't look like it's enough, but I know that you're a God who will cause rivers to flow in the desert. Keto Rakatana Messiah. Hey, glory to God. Hey, Jesus Koshatai and make a way in the wilderness. So today, Heavenly Father, receive the offering of your people. Let the fragrance permeate the heavens, O Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Remember an apostle standing in the church and said her car had been repossessed. She wasn't able to make it to work and she got $250 from somebody and heard about a service and decided she was going to show up to the service. While she was going out the door, the Lord turned her back and said, go get the $250 and take it with you. 
And at the time, you know, she said, well, God, no, but I met them tell me if you $250 in the cars, you see me not have a way out to work. And she sat there and they told the people in the church to sow a seed. And she tried to hide and was about to make her exit. And the Lord arrested her and said, put every dime of it in. Every single dollar. And she put that $250 in that basket. And the car dealership called her back a week later to say, I don't know what happened, but there was a glitch in our system. It shows us that you don't owe $2,500. You can come pick up your car for $250. This the God that I serve. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. At this time, we're going to ask Pastor Green to come with the scripture reading. Romans 5, verses 12 through 21. Please turn your Bibles to Romans 5 and verse 12. Bless the name of the Lord. Stand to the reading of God's holy word. Romans 5, verse 12. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Romans 5, verse 12. If you, if you find it, say hallelujah. Glory to God. Wherefore, as by one man sin enter into the world, and death by sin, and so death passes upon all men, but that all have sinned. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. Oh, it is from 5, 12 to 21. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 12 to 21. Thank God. Hallelujah. For until the last sin was in the world, but sin is not inputted when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned. After the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come? But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, had abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sin, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offense unto justification for if by one man offense death reign by one such more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ therefore as by the offense of one judgment come upon all men to condemnation even so by the righteousness of one the gift the free gift came upon all men and to justification of life for as by one man disobedience many were made sinners so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous 
Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abound, grace did much more abound. Hallelujah. 21 and Lord. That as sin had reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. We honor it by saying thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Bless God. Hallelujah. Rev love this song. Rev love this song. It, it, it's a staple like yam and dumpling on a Sunday. But before we sing the song and uh, welcome our lead and host pastor, Leo Hall, uh, it would be remiss of me to not say who my guest is. I did not forget. I have uh, Prophet Marcel Brown with me uh, traveling from West Palm Beach um, just to worship with us today. And he is a very reserved man of God, but one that packs power in the word and also in prayer. If you don't mind, I would like to give him a minute to greet the church. Bless God. Shall we bless the Lord? Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody honor him. If you come with a gift to give to somebody, don't just keep it. Give it to him. If you come with a gift, if you leave your house with a gift, give it to him. Can somebody give him a praise? Can somebody honor him? Bow down and worship him. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the anointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I want to just quickly tell somebody that the Father seeketh true worshippers. The Father seeketh true worshippers. You know, the Bible said that who can find a virtuous woman? We are in a time now when the eyelashes are getting bigger. The hips are getting bigger. The lips are getting redder. But no virtue. And the Bible said, who can find? It's a search. Because if you look on the body, you might be tricked. And he said, who can find a faithful man? We're living in a time when man speaking in tongues, but no faithfulness. We're living in a time when man packing stadium, but no faithfulness. And the same kind of search that we have is the same kind of search Jesus said, the Father, seek it, Lord Jesus. If you have a problem with man, God have a problem too. Because he's seeking for true worship. To the point where he went down to a woman who was rejected. He went to a woman who had more than one husband. Because when he went to the church, the church threw him out. Lord Jesus. 
He went to a woman that nobody expected. And the woman said, our fathers worship in the mountains and towards Jerusalem and he's a woman you don't understand what you're doing it's because of her misunderstanding and then Jesus said my father seeketh true worshiper and now is the time when the father is seeking when is it he had to go to a rejected woman when is it he had to go to a low down woman is because he saw something in her. It's because he knew that he would get something on his return. And immediately she ran when she got the news and said, Come see a man. God Almighty, God is expecting something from you. God wants a return. That's the reason why you're chosen. Because you were rejected. But God shows you. You were looked down on. But God shows you. Because he knows that there is a big return. There is a return on his investment. The Father seek a true worship. And God bless your church. Hey! Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? It is time for the word of the Lord. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open heart oh let the ancient words ancient words ever true changing me and changing you just as through the disobedience of one man the many were made sinners so also through obedience of the one man the many will be made righteous the law was brought in so that the trespass might increase but where sin increased, where sin abounds, grace, grace, so much more, many times more, Hallelujah. increased, Glory all the more, God. so that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace Hallelujah. might reign through the righteousness of being of bring eternal life to Jesus Christ. God, we have come into this place. To fellowship with you. To fellowship with each other. God, we have entered into this place to worship and adore you. But God, as we magnify your holy name, we pray that through the power of your Holy Spirit, God, that you will speak a word that is relevant to our being. 
speak a word we pray in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah can, can we just give God praise hallelujah uh, are you tired are you tired some of you are looking tired uh, just wave your hands to Jesus wave your hands to him wave your hands to him wave your hands to him hallelujah come on come on give him praise give him praise give him praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated, my sisters and brothers. I greet you well in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah. God is good. Amen. Just want to acknowledge all the servants of God, all the ministers all the preachers all the pastors prophet uh prophet i acknowledge you as i acknowledge pastor green pastor quinlan minister bailey pastor hall and all of us wonderful people i acknowledge us in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ now i must say that pastor green yesterday morning i traveled to tampa I missed prayer meeting yesterday morning because I had to travel to Tampa to work. And because it was, it, 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 we were supposed to just remove two doors and put in two doors. I did not know the deep nature of the doors we are removing. I, 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 we went already and they said they want electronic doors. So we couldn't install the doors because they gave us the wrong doors. So we went back yesterday. And after traveling, it's a bank. And they say we cannot start until 12 o'clock. So we traveled across. And when we went, they said before we remove everything, they have to do security clearance on everything. Which was another long wait. And then after that, they said they, they have to remove an entire section because they want the design of the building interior to be changed. And we went just to install, remove two doors and install two doors. So we have to wait on everybody to do everything that they have to do. Then we have to wait on the electrician to remove every piece of wire. And then when we install the doors, we have to sit and wait on the electrician to make sure that the electronic devices are working. So he has to reconnect everything. We did not leave there until this morning. After one. So I came this morning 
I came home this morning at daybreak. And, you know, I am saying God is good. Amen. I'm going to be sharing a word with us. And, I, and this word becomes more important to me today at this time than it would have ever been. Because when we, we have talked a lot about God's grace. But I sometimes believe we do not understand God's grace. As a matter of fact, I sometimes want to believe that as human kinds, as human beings, we have a tendency to be more ungrateful to God than we are thankful to Him. And even in saying that, some of you may not even understand what I'm talking about. You see, in the church, we have often say that by God's grace. As a matter of fact, I have heard a statement oftentimes, Pastor Green, when we say, I am alive because of God's grace. As a matter of fact, we have sung the song, Your grace and mercy brought me through. I am living this moment because of you. And, and, and the songwriter got it right when he says, I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. But even with the lyrical content of that song being so accurate, there are many of us who are struggling to understand the value of God's grace. So we are going to talk a little bit about greater grace. Come on, can, can, can somebody say greater grace? And, and, and when I say this, I want us to understand where I'm going. Because the truth is that we are gathering a time like this, worshiping God and celebrating salvation. Because of God's grace. If you look at your life carefully. Look where God has brought you from. Uh, and it does not matter who you are. And what your past have been. The fact is. If you have made Jesus Christ your personal savior. Right there and then, it is the activation of God's grace that would have brought you to the place to experience the salvation that God offers. Because there are many who have died without that sense of penitence. Many who have died without going to that place where they say, Lord, I repent. There are many who have died who have been overtaken by pride and have not encountered the grace the way we want to talk about the grace. So here we are, my brothers and sisters. And because we are talking about it, about God's grace, I believe and I know that all of us would have had some near misses in our lives. Oh, I, I don't think the church understands. You see, many of us would have gone through incidents in life that would have caused death for another, but only because of the preservation of God. Only because of the active grace of God you are here this morning there are some of us who have gone through surgery and the scars are on us to tell us that it is because of the grace I don't think the church understand me 
a, a prophet a, a, as a baby I had a rip from here to here and according to them I should have died but grace can somebody say grace hallelujah uh, because when the devil says death uh, the grace of God that is active declares life uh, uh, Pastor Green uh, you would have understood uh, you understand because you would have gone through it uh, and when the devil thought that he would snatch you but because of grace that have been active uh, you are still here uh, do I have a witness in this place uh, who understand uh, the goodness of God that it is God who has brought you through it is God who has kept you it is God who has enabled you uh, it is God who has strengthened you it is God who has lifted you uh, is there somebody here uh, who understand uh, the sense of grace uh, that is in this place uh, could somebody say greater grace uh, come on can somebody say greater grace uh, hallelujah glory be to God uh, I, I feel I'm going to preach in this place uh, you see sisters and brothers uh, as we talk about grace uh, I want us to understand that grace uh, the simplest word that I can use that is fully understandable to the humankind in defining grace. I heard people talk about favor, but there are many of us who do not understand favor. I I understand what what, what they are saying, but when you talk to the ordinary person and say, "What is unmerited favor?" They say, "Oh, you do not deserve it, but you get it." Yes, that is so. But do you understand it? Do you feel it? Down to the bottom of your being. Uh, do you understand uh, what God has done for your life? Uh, do you understand that you are dying, uh, but because of grace, uh, you are now living? Uh, do you understand uh, that you are slowly drifting? You are slowly uh, sinking, uh, but grace has lifted you. Ah, uh, God, I don't think the church uh, understands. Ah, you were lost, uh, 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 and because of grace, uh, you have been found. Uh, you were blind, uh, but because of grace, uh, you have found sight. Uh, uh, can I talk to somebody? I say you are dying, uh, but because of grace, uh, you are now living. Uh, can somebody say grace or grace? Oh, Rabakushini the boss. So, so what is that simplest word I can use? Uh, I'm going to use a word that will disturb the minds of many in this place. And the word I will use is forgiveness. Uh, and when I use this word, sisters and brothers, I want us to understand that, that, that here uh, I'm talking uh, about the pardoning of God. That means God pardons man. And it is out of the fact that we are pardoned that we experience redemption. It is the activation of grace that would have caused us to walk into the courtroom uh, guilty of charge. Uh, and then we walk up pardoned uh, and set free. Uh, that means you are forgiven. It is grace at work. Uh, uh, I cannot explain it anywhere. Uh, I, I don't know if you have ever been to the court. Uh, 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 and you know uh, that something will go down. Uh, uh, and you walk in. Uh, uh, and you know that you are in trouble. But because uh, uh, somebody uh, look out favorably for you. Uh, somebody recognize uh, that you need uh, a deliverance. Somebody recognize uh, that you need an escape route. Uh, uh, maybe you have never been to it, uh, but I want to tell you that Jesus, uh, uh, in that courtroom, uh, when we walk in guilty of charge, uh, uh, that means uh, when everything and uh, the charge were written, and all we can say when the judge say, uh, how do you plead? Uh, all you can say, guilty. Uh, uh, I, I, I realize uh, that you fornicated uh, and you say, guilty. I realize you lied. Uh, that you can say, guilty. I realize uh, you stole some things. Uh, and all you can say is, guilty. I realize uh, that you backbite. Uh, you gossip. Uh, uh, you lied. Uh, and you say, oh, uh, I am guilty. And Jesus looked down with a smile uh, and said, Look up, ah, uh, kiss this miss. Uh, I am pardoned. 
that means forgiveness. Uh, what a wonderful thing uh, to be forgiven. Uh, I, I don't know if you have ever been in a situation. Ah, uh, uh, Sister Kias. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus. Uh, and, 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 and you're in the situation uh, because of some malicious thing, uh, some vexation. Uh, 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 and uh, and the, you hope uh, that the person will look favorably and you'll say, look, uh, it's all right. Uh, yeah, I put it past me. You're forgiven. Uh, and instead you see a big face, uh, a, 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 a cruel face, uh, a screw up face, uh, a, a malicious face, uh, a, 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 a kill your face. Uh, looking at you and you say, Lord, I'm in trouble now. Uh, but guess what? I'm here to tell the church. Uh, that if you have sinned in the past which you have uh, there is a face uh, the face of Jesus uh, that is smiling at you uh, and he's ready to tell you that case is dismissed uh, because he has a lover uh, can't somebody say forgiveness So, 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 in the natural sense, grace means forgiveness. It's charity. It's mercifulness. So when we talk about the unmerited favor, it is because it is at the highest level of forgiveness. Because you did not deserve it. Because your evil was strong. Uh, your, your your sin was rich. Uh, 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 your, 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 your crime uh, was volatile. Uh, but, but, but because of the goodness of God, uh, he stepped over all those things uh, and said, look, uh, uh, it's all right. Give me a hug uh, because I love you. Uh, and because I love you, pastor, your case is forgiveness. I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm wrestling with it. Because it is a wonderful thing to find favor with man. Because they open doors for us sometimes. A uh, church don't understand. You see, the church has never been to the place. Some of you, may, uh, you, 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 you only know what it is to be religious and sing the songs uh, and dance because the music is nice. But, but, but let me tell you, my friends, when you recognize that the favor of man is good, you, you, you feel it. You, you say, yes, man, I like this. Deeper still, greater still is that grace that God releases to us. So, so as we reflect on greater grace, my brothers and sisters, I, I, I want to highlight some things to us. And I'm going to do this quickly. And the first thing I want us to understand as we talk about God's grace is that it is an expression of God's immeasurable love. I want you to write that down. I want you to note it because sometimes we believe that we do not have anyone who loves us. We feel excluded by others. We are abused by many. We are lied on. And, and sometimes we say, Lord, there's nobody on my side. Oh, yeah, you people have a lot of friends. So, so you don't understand what, what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, can, can, have you been to that place, uh, Pastor Green? Uh, and, 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 and not even your wife. Uh, uh, you love her dearly. Uh, but she cannot understand what you're going through. Uh, and sometimes uh, she might see uh, the plastic smile because you have to give them the, the, right, the image what they want to see. Uh, you smile before them and you put on an image. Uh, but when you go into the bathroom or uh, into a room by yourself, uh, 
you have to put on a face uh, and say, God, you see what me I go through. Uh, uh, glory be to God. Uh, and, and, and when you become broken in that moment, uh, then grace becomes active. Uh, can I talk to somebody here? Uh, I said, my brothers and sisters, uh, in your brokenness, uh, in your strife, uh, in your loneliness, uh, in your burden, uh, in your strife, uh, God is still a God who loves you no matter what. Uh, that means uh, if the world forsake you, God will still love you, my friend. Uh, I'm here to talk to the church. Uh, can I talk to a life changing faith and fellowship? Uh, can I talk to you uh, in the name of Jesus? Uh, I want you to understand uh, that God has poured out a grace uh, upon this place uh, because He loves us. Uh, he loves us. Uh, can somebody say, He loves me? Roboko Sharaba. You see, there is no way we can measure God's love towards us. There's no way. Because when you believe you have experienced the maximum, there's still a greater level of love. It's immeasurable. And the Bible tells us in Isaiah 43. Uh, Levon, I want you to put up this for me. Isaiah 43 and verse 4. The Bible tells us, it says, Since thou wast precious in my sight, since you are precious in my sight, you have been honorable. I, 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 I want you to understand. Here it is telling, since Ah, you were precious in my sight. You are being honorable. And I have loved you. This is what the word of God is saying. I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for thee. And people for thy life. It is a love that is beyond measure. And God wants us to understand that the love is a great love. That's why in John gospel chapter 3 and verse 16 Jesus present, he, let me tell you he said the Bible tells us for God so loved the world that means you and I it is a love that is greater than any other love mankind can experience that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life it is a love my friends uh, I sometimes uh, I, I, I have to dive into that because I my, my sons don't understand uh, so they don't treat me with the love what I want uh, uh, because uh, they see me and they said I don't need love uh, but there is a love uh, I can bask in it uh, there is a love uh, I can swim in it uh, there is a love uh, I can hold on to it uh, because it is a greater love uh, and it is God who gives it to us hallelujah that's why in Romans 5 verse 8 we, we, we have just read in Romans 5 we start at verse 12 but in verse 8 it says but God commandeth his love towards us that while we were what? yet what? while we were what? while we were dying in sin while sin was strangling us while sin was about to bury us. The Bible is telling us here why we were yet sinners. Out of love, Christ died for us. Can you imagine what love? That's why in First John four, when we we are most that we love him, you know. Here, the author gets it right in verse 19. He said that when he says that we love him, but it is he who first loves us. So we can boast all we want. It is God who first loves us. So it is an immeasurable love. The second thing I want to point out quickly here is that grace is something, this greater grace is something that abounds in a world of sin. Now, let us look around us 
I, 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 I've been looking and I realize that crime is on the rise. Uh, uh, some of you are not re listening to the news or reading the news. Uh, when you look, sisters and brothers, uh, fornication and adultery is on the rise. Uh, when you look around us, homosexuality is on the rise. When you look around us, up, uh, uh, there's more breaking and taking place in our cities, in our neighborhood. Uh, uh, it's on the rise. Uh, when you look up, uh, there are many children running, leaving their parents' home. Uh, uh, it's on the rise. Uh, when you look, sisters and brothers, uh, there's all sort of things happening around us. Uh, it's because sin is abounding. Sin is growing. Uh, sin is presenting itself. Uh, and sometimes, uh, even in our very space, uh, and we're wondering, and sometimes as parents, sometimes uh, all we can do is say, God help us, have mercy on us, uh, because our children are bringing sin in. Sometimes uh, the, the people who we love bring sin right into our, uh, uh, into our homes, and we can't even manage it. Uh. But I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, uh, when sin presents itself, uh, do not be overwhelmed by sin uh, because we must understand that the God we serve uh, is a God of grace. Can somebody say he's a God of grace? Uh, uh, and the Bible tells us uh, where sin abounds, uh, I say grace uh, much more abounds. That means uh, I'm going to explain something right here to you, my friends. Uh, that means when sin presents itself, uh, God is going to present himself as well uh, because where sin presents itself. That means there is a sinner who needs redemption. If we are sin present itself, there is somebody who needs to be saved. And there are some of us, we say, oh, men are talked of sinner. The devil is a liar. Uh, it is a sinner that needs a savior. Uh, some of us in the church, we know to sing songs of Zion. We know how to preach pretty sermons. We know to act around with the right, according to the right crowd. But sometimes you better learn uh, to remove the mask a little bit uh, and step out there and start reaching out uh, to the unseeable or the unreachable or the untouchable and let them know that there is a God. Uh, uh, there is someone by the name of Jesus. He went to the cross uh, and he died for their sin. Uh, if somebody can recognize uh, that the God who we serve is a God of grace, uh, then they will walk away from their sin uh, and they will fall before God and say, God, I repent. You see, the problem is there are too many of us who are religious. We are so religious. Here's so the I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. That's how we say no. We want to go to heaven and rest. And we have done nothing as yet. We have not witnessed to one a person yet. We have not prayed for a sick or afflicted yet. We have not gone to visit the imprisoned yet. We have not uh, cast out a demon yet. Uh, and we talk about we want to go to heaven and rest. What is What work have you done? You see, we need to get real in our church. Church, can we get real in this place uh, and understand that there is an assignment uh, attached to your life. Uh, the minute you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, there is an immediate assignment given to you. I'm not going to play around uh, with my assignment. Uh, I understand who my God is. Uh, I understand who my Redeemer is. Uh, and I understand uh, the mandate that he has given unto me. I hear him uh, uh, right there. I hear him. I hear him. Uh, when he said, go ye into all the world. Uh, do I have a witness in this place? Uh, I said, go ye uh, into all the world uh, and preach. Uh, that means... Uh, Preaching is not just a herald uh, or show the sermon as we do it. Uh, because the greatest sermon uh, is a sermon of love. Uh, the greatest sermon is a sermon of grace. Uh, that means when you see somebody trot down, uh, stoop down and help lift them up. Uh, when you see somebody broken up, uh, Bring them together and help them heal. When you see somebody afflicted, uh, lay your heart upon them uh, and cast out the spirit of affliction. Uh, when you see somebody sick, uh, get the oil uh, according to the word of God uh, and anoint them with oil. Uh, and the prayer of Peter shall save the sick uh, and shall raise him up. Uh, and if he has committed sin, uh, it 
shall be forgiven. Have you not read the scriptures? The Bible is clear, my friends, that it's time the church become a church of grace. means we represent Christ and then therefore we must be those who open an avenue of grace for those who need salvation oh I see now I can't talk to him the devil is a liar Jesus hung out with some of the can you imagine when he started ministry, Jesus in Matthew 4, he called Simon Peter and his brother and he called them to come. They were fishers of men. Have you ever been to the sea? Have you ever hung around fishermen? I, I, I don't think you understand. But Jesus called them can you imagine Jesus called Matthew, the tax collector? Do you understand the history of a tax collector? A tax collector was an abuser of power who exploited the poor to make himself rich. But here Jesus called him. Hallelujah. And we must understand Jesus got to the home of people who are excluded Jesus witnessed to can you imagine the conversation you, you started talking about it when Jesus came to the world hallelujah here is this woman this beautiful woman and Jesus started a conversation over a drink of water. Ah, I, 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 I can imagine. Uh, uh, here is this woman, uh, and Jesus said, Can you give me a drink? Uh, uh, this woman must be wondering. I said, Look, uh, I already have five of them uh, who asked me for a drink, and this is the sixth one. I uh, uh, can you imagine the conversation to the woman, uh, and the woman uh, was ready to exploit, the woman was ready. But Jesus had to bring her to a point. Uh, and that's why she was able to say, Look, uh, there are some of us, uh, 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 we worship in the mountains. Uh, some of you worship uh, in your expensive temple. Uh, but Jesus said, If you know who I am, uh, uh, glory be to God, uh, you would not, uh, you, would, you, you, would be, you would be asking me. The conversation changed. The church must be a community where the conversation changes. That people will come broken and because of the power of God, conversation change. They'll come demonized and because of the manifestation of the power of God, the conversation will change. They'll come as prostitutes and when they walk under the holy flame, the holy fire of God, uh, the conversation change uh, all because of the grace. Could somebody say greater grace? Greater grace. So, you know, I, 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 there are some Psalms, you know, two Psalms, two verses from Psalm. <coughs> That I noted Psalm 51 because we recite it. But verses 3 and 5 speak to me. In verse 3, the psalmist says, What? For I know what? My transgressions. And my sin is what? <clears throat> Always before me. That's who we are. Sin is always presenting itself. In verse 5 of that same psalm, 
it, 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 the conversation was still the same surely i was sinful from the very birth that's what he was saying you know and then it says sinful from the time my mother conceived me that is prior to my birth that means everything about my life is sinful in ecclesiastes 7 and verse 20 it's an interesting verse he says there is not a righteous man on earth who does what is right and never sins that means prophet the whole are we not we not stop sin we sin with our speech we sin with our deeds we sin even sometimes by the way we gaze we sin that's who we are that's why in Romans 3 and verse 23, it, it speaks to us. It, it, there's no way we can escape that because the Bible is very practical and many of us, someday, we, 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 we tend to push things as, aside. But it, it, Paul writing to the Romans said, for all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. The whole are we. But where sin abounds. Can somebody say grace? Come on, I say where sin abounds. I, 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 and the third point I want to get to is that grace, greater is that grace than the burden of your sin. Let me say this. You know the song, grace, grace, God's grace, grace can mm, 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 my sin, grace, grace, God's grace. Oh, you're gone. All right, no, I think it's So, 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 sin, sin. We, we, we kind of come back to it. Is literally a burden. And there are some of us walking around with a burden without realizing it. And when we carry unnecessary burden, eventually it breaks us. And it is only grace through the power of God that can lift our burdens. Ah, oh, God. Now, in, in, in Psalm 32, I, I, I'm, I'm coming down. Uh, the first five verses of this psalm. It, it, it tells us, it says, and I want you to, 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 to note this. It says, blessed is he whose transgression is what? Forgiven. Do you remember where we started when I was talking about the, defining the word grace? Do you remember me highlighting forgiveness? So here, the psalm is saying, blessed is he whose transgression is being lifted uh, because of the grace of God. This is where we must understand. And he said, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night, Thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into drought of summer. That means uh, sin as a way of, it's like a flame burning in her body. Uh, it dries up. Uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that should keep us going. Uh, that's why sometimes uh, we become like dry bones. Uh, uh, even our praise has been sapped up. Uh, we come into church uh, and, and, and we can't even express ourselves. Uh, we, we, we become so tired uh, because uh, life is sapping us. Uh, 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 all the issues we are contending with uh, sapping us. Uh, so we can't even say amen. We can't even say praise the Lord uh, because we are being attacked left, right, and center. And our spirit is being stretched. Uh, and and we, are, we are like, oh God, I'm, I'm about to die. I'm going to explode. Uh, but let me tell you when grace steps in. Uh, 
when grace steps in uh, it waters our soul uh, when grace steps in uh, it lifts us to a place uh, and that we can be renewed uh, and be refreshed uh, and be restored uh, and then praise will come again uh, or a dance will come again or a shout will come again uh, and all of a sudden the dry bone uh, is not dry anymore. Uh, uh, muscles will come back. Uh, sinews will come back. Uh, the pieces will come back. Uh, blood will start flow again. Uh, and then who was dead uh, will be alive again. Can I talk about grace in this place? Uh, I was at that place uh, where I was like dry bone. Uh, but because of grace, uh, I'm standing in the house of God uh, with a praise. Uh, with a praise. Uh, do I have a witness in this place? Uh, because you understand the grace of God. Uh, can somebody stand to your feet uh, and show greater grace? Uh, can somebody say greater grace? Uh, can somebody say greater grace? Hallelujah. Greater grace. I'm not dry bone anymore. Uh, I am. I, I have found something, uh, and it is not man who has given it to me. Uh, it is coming from the power of the living God. Uh, hey. I, 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 I found my pep in my step. Uh, it's because there's a renewal. Uh, it's because there's a fire burning, uh, and it is not a fire that sucks me. It's a fire that built me. Uh, it's a fire that quit me. Uh, it's a fire that give me drive. Uh, can somebody say greater grace? Burden is burdens are lifted. Ah. Hallelujah. You know, we, we used to sing this song, burdens are lifted at Calvary. 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 We used to sing it. And it used to mean something. But let me tell you, some people see Calvary only at on Good Friday. But we miss that Calvary should be an everyday experience because we recognize that Jesus died for our sins. And because Jesus died, it is that time the redemption of God becomes clear to us. So our burdens are lifted because we remember who our God is. Can somebody say grace greater than the burden of our sins hallelujah and i wrap up with this grace uh, is available through the acceptance of jesus christ I, 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 let me tell you i remember you know people can treat people like it, it, do you know that some people believe that we we, 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 there's a term that we don't want to use these days. Bastard. Do you understand what it is to be a bastard? Because some people, some people, they treat us because in, in days of old, when you're a, a child where your parents are unwed, and especially if your father is already married to another woman so you coming out of it is of no fault of yours you are excluded from society as a matter of fact the natural tendency in days of old prophet the natural tendency pastor you know what they do pastor Finland? they would take the peer the mother and the child and ship them out they would send them to another far community and said do not tell anybody who the father of this child is so the child would grow up not knowing is or her father and everybody would have say you you pooperless oh some of you don't know the term meaning you are fatherless you, you, you are nobody And you would grow up feeling less than you ought to be. But grace. Oh, when your mother and father forsake you. Ah, the Lord. Ah, the God of heaven. Ah, 
uh, who is greater than anybody else uh, is the real daddy oh can i talk to the church here uh, he will come and he will sleep you up uh, he will pick you up uh, he will embrace you and he will give you something he will give you cause for living oh god Get the mic, get the mic, get the mic. We are, we, we are finishing. Keep playing that song. Keep playing that song. I, I, I feel something in my spirit. You know, eh, eh, eh. all when I was traveling back in the fourth something this morning, uh, you know, my wife, Annette, I love her dearly. She said, you know, you, 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 you need to delegate this sermon. And I, 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 I reached the place where I was going to say, Pastor Green, you should have preached last week. You better preach tomorrow. I was, I, 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 at one time, I, I was going to call Pastor Quinlan. I was going to call Minister Billy and say, look, what are you going to preach? You know? But God sit on me and say, you better learn to understand that this word must be delivered by you tomorrow. And even when, when I, and she said, Jelly came and say, I, I, I've been praying over the word too long. I've been, I've been watching this word too long uh, because the church of the living God need to understand that there's a greater grace. Uh, there's a God who loves us more than man. There's a God who is standing by your side. Uh, and it doesn't matter how people look at you. People wipe you off. They call your name. They say, oh, the one day. The one day. The itty tighty. The one that poop bossy bossy. The one that not see it yet. Uh, and they write you off. Uh, because they, they, they learned something about your past. But God. But God. Right now I want to pray with somebody. I want to pray with somebody. And, and, and this time of prayer is a very important one. We got to sing that song. It's being played. And if you are in this place and you recognize that you want to walk in the grace, you want to live experiencing the grace, uh, and you're gonna you, you are walking away from, from, from the lies that the enemy has been pouring on you, just go to this altar and let us pray together. Hallelujah. In him will I
let me tell you I'm feeling this word like never before maybe you're, you're you have joined us online but God is saying this is your season to experience afresh who he is let me tell you sometimes you feel so forsaken sometimes you feel so broken it's, it's like nobody understands but God is saying come come have fellowship with me come and let us be intimate this is when you're saying God I'm putting my trust in you this is so so important there's nothing more important than being surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ the Bible tells us it is appointed unto man wants to die and after death comes judgment that's what the Bible tells us so it, it, so all of us will eventually stand before God and every man will have to give an account for the life he or she has lived which is important but many of us are living right now and our focus is on material education clothes money we are focused on boyfriend and girlfriend husband and wife we are focused on food ah some of us ah, we, are, we are so worried about about what people see and, and we are creating an image because we want them to see an image you see what when we are doing that what we are doing is putting our trust in man but god said look put not your trust I want to charge is there somebody who wants to say look God I'm gonna put everything in you because you're the God of grace because when everybody has foreseen you I've been there for me when the enemy attacks my body you have been faithful to be there for me when my household was attacked when my marriage was attacked when my business was attacked when my ministry was attacked, you have been there for me. Is there somebody else in this place willing to walk to this altar and say, God, some trust in chariots, some in horses, but I'm God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember who you are because you're faithful, you're mighty. You're gonna be praying, you're gonna be praying. Can we just come a little closer together? Come a little closer together. I love you, I love you, Pastor, Minister. I love you. I love you because you know some of us when we are serving in the leadership of the church, we don't want to come to the altar because we want everybody to see us as being so right before God and, and everything is so perfect but the coming is because we recognize that the altar is the meeting place it's where we are fellowshipping with God and we say God I want to have fellowship with you Jesus oh. God we thank you for the word to us today God, we thank you for the challenge that your word offers. The invitation that it offers. The opportunity that it offers. God, we thank you for the clarity it brings to our spirit. And God, that we need not to see ourselves less than ought to. Because your grace is available to us. 
so we come to this altar right now and we just want to unveil we unload everything to you everything everything God we are leaving everything right here on this cross and as we do this mighty God may the power of your Holy Spirit rest upon us right now Oh, Rabba Kashiri. Oh, Rabba Baba Sene Nubushi. God, open our hearts to receive afresh the release that you know how. God, it doesn't matter what the enemy says, you know what you're now saying enemy had declared death but God now we know we are walking in life the enemy had declared that we are defeated but God we thank you for victory that you gave the enemy had said that we will be poor and poverty stricken but God we thank you for the overflow of wealth in our lives the enemy had said that we would be failures but God, we thank you by your grace, greater grace, that success will become the pattern of our lives. Can somebody lift your hand right now? Lift your right hand and say, success shall be the pattern of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody say, success shall be the pattern of my life in the name of Jesus. Ah, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We walk in overflow. We walk in abundance. We thank you. We walk in the supernatural. We thank you that the carnal is broken and the power of God will be upon our life. We thank you for the glory. We thank you for the glory. We thank you for the glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you just lift your hand in praise? Lift your hand in praise. blessing of God the 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 blessing of God which adds no sorrow which adds no sorrow sister Cassie which adds no sorrow our minister Bailey which adds no sorrow pastor Quinlan it adds no sorrow Ah, Pastor Aneta, it adds no sorrow, but it makes it richer. Can somebody give God a praise? Walk in the grace. Walk in the grace. Great the grace. Great the grace. Great the grace. Great the grace. Arababa. Great the grace. Hallelujah. In Him will I trust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Green, 
communion time. Communion time. Hallelujah. Can we keep singing that song for communion? Because, because I'm feeling a flow of God in this place. And because the communion is a sacred meal, it's a very sacred meal. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? We have had a lot of carnal food, you know. And when we eat such food, we develop hypertension and diabetes, high cholesterol. We, we, we have all sort of issues. But the Lord Jesus himself is inviting us to his table. And what I love is that the invitation to us is not because we are holy and righteous than anybody else. Because all of us have sinned. But the Lord is inviting us to come. Not because we must, but because we may. Not because we are righteous, but because we are all sinners stand in constant need of God's mercy and help. He invites us to come. Not because we have any claim and evidence rewards, but because of the power that Jesus has given unto us that gives us a pathway to that which is eternal in Christ. Come, let us feast together. Come. The Lord Jesus Christ on the night he was betrayed after giving thanks he took bread saying this is my body which is broken for all of us. Let us eat and be thankful in remembrance of me. That's what the Lord says. After supper, he took the cup, saying, In this cup is a new covenant of my blood. And as often as you drink, do so in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of the bread and drink of the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us enjoy the fellowship with the Lord. Pastor Green, can you just bless the sacrament for us? Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for your people, Lord. And as we are about to partake of this God's feast, this meal, God Almighty, I pray, Almighty God, that as we eat and drink this symbol of your body and your blood, that God, it will bring healing to our body. Hallelujah. It will bring salvation to our soul. And it will bring peace to our heart right now God that your people are about to take it I pray God Almighty that they will examine themselves Almighty God that they will not eat and drink damnation upon themselves bless this meal again Lord as we say thanks in Jesus name Amen and Amen As we keep singing, uh, the communion will be distributed.
it with like drugs. Get in with like drugs. Get in with like drugs. Get in with like drugs. Sisters and brothers, this which represents the broken body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which is a new covenant we have with Him. Let us eat and be thankful in remembrance of Him. The drink representing the shed blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The new covenant we have with Him. Let us drink and be thankful in the remembrance of it. As we feast with the Lord, I can hear him saying, I was wounded for your transgressions. I was bruised for your iniquity. Justice made up peace. I've been laid upon me. By all this flogging I'm receiving, I'm speaking and releasing healing to your life. This is a literal and a spiritual reality that as we have received by faith. This holy meal that by faith as we walk from this building we're walking in healing in health in renewed strength. We are thanking God that high blood pressure has been neutralized. That diabetes has dried up by the power of the living God. Lump has been removed. Cancer is destroyed by the fire of the living God. The cyst is no more. Ah, the pain in the joint, the back, the knee, the hanker. Ah, yes, sir. The swelling uh, that has been coming uh, so often. Oh, there is something happening by the power of the living God right now. Even that constant desire to use the instrument that is called eyeglasses. Somebody's eye. Ah, yes, the dimness is being removed. Ah, the blurriness is being removed. Ah, somebody's sight is being restored by the power of the living God. Oh, Rabba Baba Kishinobo said it. Ah, that nervousness, that nervousness. Uh, I speak to your system right now and said, Nervousness, we cast you out into dry places. Robo uh, Ah, yes, right now, by the power of the living God. Epilepsy, we bind you. We have seen this in scriptures. And we apply the word of God right now. And we say be restored to health. Ah God we thank you for healing in this place. We thank you for strength in this place. 
We thank you right now that our bodies are being restored to renewness. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the, uh, the neck pain is gone. The neck pain are robo Ah, uh, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus, we are totally delivered and set free. So God, as we walk from this place today, no more will the enemy laugh at us. But we'll rejoice in his face because of what God does. Can we all stand? Can we all stand? We are closing. We are closing. I know I've kept you long. I know. God, we thank you that you're restoring uh, employment. You're restoring employment. You're restoring uh, financial well-being. Uh, you're restoring wholeness of mind and spirit. Wholeness of relationships. Uh, you're restoring. There is something right now happening in this place. The Lord is restoring. Can we just lift our right hand to him? We are closing. Can we all declare, God, we thank you for restoration, for restoration in, our lives. in our lives. Restoration in our finances. Restoration in our finances. Restoration in our relationships. Restoration in our relationships. Restoration in our faith. Restoration in our faith. Restoration in our spiritual life. Restoration in our spiritual life. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. That we will not be the same. That we will not be the same. Because of this time. Because of this time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The blessing of the Lord be yours. The blessing of the Lord be yours. Come on, look at somebody and tell them the blessing of God be yours. The blessing of God be yours. Ha. Sing the blessing for us. The Lord.